Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and thank you for joining me today on this video. And I want everybody's input, so I want people to comment in the bottom on what I'm about to talk about real quick. Quick. All right, now I'm sure that you've all seen in the news that the Biden administration reportedly considering $450,000 payments to families separated at the southern border. Now, that could be as high as a million dollars is what they're estimating they're saying. Now, I don't totally agree with these payments being paid out. Now, this all stems from back in 2017 to 2018 under Trump's administration's zero tolerance policy. Okay? Now, when these people come across the border illegally, let me state that, illegally, and they come across this border, now all of a sudden they're processed and everything else. Now they separated the kids from the parents and evidently they just kind of like let the parents go because nobody knows where they went to because there's still a lot of kids that they can't even reunite with their families or their parents. Now were they sent back to where they came from or were they just released into this country with an appending date to come back to court? Like you really think they're gonna do that, right? I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. A little common sense here government but hey anyways all right i'm not against people coming to this country legally they want to follow the correct path and correct procedures on how they get into this country then fine and dandy they are more than welcome to come into this country legally not illegally it seems to me that all they want to do is rush across this border. Now there's a whole nother group of these people that are headed our way, in case you all didn't know that. There is 4,000, estimated 4,000 of these people that are coming up through Mexico once again. Now the Mexico government has took and, you know, tried to offer them basically like, a, you know, they can stay in Mexico, they'll do this, help them find jobs and all this other kind of stuff. And none of them want that. They want to go to America. And why is that? Well, because the Biden administration is got the checkbook open and they all know that. They know that if they can get through the border and everything else, the chances of them being able to stay here, legal or not, is really very high. Now, back to these payments these payments are just ridiculous i can understand if you want to reunite these people with their kids reunite the kids with their parents and everything else as far as i'm concerned they probably should have never been separated to begin with if you're going to bring them in you process them you put them all the whole family back on a bus plane train boat whatever it is and send them back to where they came from until they can legally apply and come into this country now i also do understand why people are leaving all their these countries and headed this way because their countries basically are just falling apart their governments are collapsing and everything else but if we keep going on this path that we're on what do you think is going to happen to this country it's going to be overrun they can't stop them at the border you know, I mean, if they look at them the wrong way, the ACLU is right there and they want to, you know, sue everybody. That's who the main people that are suing the government is the ACLU for all these families and everything. There's 940 families right now that have reportedly filed the claims with the ACLU over all this. And don't you think that more than likely these parents once they figure out if they can get money especially anywhere between four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a person up to a million dollars per family that they're not going to just all of a sudden reappear out of the woods if you get what i'm saying if these people would have been documented if they would have known where they were going if they were tracked and everything else then it'd be one thing but nobody knows where these people are nobody knows what is going on and they still cannot reunite these kids with their parents because nobody knows where they went so you guys all put in the comments below i want to know what you think 
of this whole situation. I want to know what your opinion is on the government looking to fork out another probably over a billion dollars for the government's failure to do what they should have done in the first place, like I did state earlier in this video, was to process these people and everything else and then send them back to wherever they came from and not separate anybody and not know where anyone is. So you all put down in the comments what your opinion is on this situation right here. I just don't know what they are thinking because why are you going to fork out this kind of cash to these families just because the ACLU wants that? I don't agree with it. Maybe pay them a little something, but come on. You already hand them the silver platter once they come into this country. Most people, they don't have to pay taxes and stuff for five years. They help them get started with homes and jobs and all this other kind of stuff while we, the American people, are the ones that are still suffering even after Charlie Victor 19 and what is going on here. So you all comment and let's see what everybody thinks on this situation. What is your opinion on what's going on with the government? Till next time, folks, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this video. You all thrive to survive. Keep prepping because Lord only knows where this is all going to go. Eventually, we're going to run out of money ourselves and we're not going to be able to pay anybody. We'll be the ones that are leaving this country trying to get into another country. If something doesn't change soon. Comment below. Let's see what you think. Till next time, folks. Y'all stay safe. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'm out. Mm -hmm.